What would happen if we found life on Alpha Centauri? As the time of this video's creation, the existence of exoplanets in the Alpha Centauri system has been confirmed. According to astronomical observations, at least three exoplanets exist in Proxima Centauri. These are Proxima b, an Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone, Proxima d, a planet four times smaller than Earth that orbits very close to its star, and Proxima c, a mini-Neptune whose existence is still open to debate. It is also thought that there could be a Neptune-sized exoplanet in Alpha Centauri a, and another possible planet in Alpha Centauri b. Still, both cases remain controversial due to the lack of data that our telescopes can capture. Be that as it may, it is known that with the improvement of technologies in the future, we may be able to find more exoplanets in the star system, in addition to possible exomoons that could also have conditions to host living beings such as the moons of Jupiter. Although to date we have not found traces of life on the exoplanets of Alpha Centauri, scientists do not rule out that in the future we could find something interesting in this place. But what would happen if we found life in Alpha Centauri? What would these life forms be like? How big would they be? And what would they look like? Do you want to know? Keep watching to find out. Although today it has not been proven that life exists outside of Earth, we know that if life could have arisen on Earth, it could surely arise elsewhere in the universe with similar conditions. But it is also possible that there are other forms of life in the universe based on components utterly different from those that make up life on our planet. Many scientists claim that life doesn't have to be exclusive to our planet and that we should see other worlds with living beings out there, we just haven't found them. But what are aliens like? Where are they? Why haven't we found them? The answers to those questions are not easy as we have no idea what living things on other worlds might be like that have different conditions than Earth. But if Alpha Centauri exists in a world with conditions similar to those of the Earth, it is likely that in that place, as on the Earth, life could eventually emerge as well. And what these extraterrestrial beings will look like will depend on many factors. If the gravity is low, they could be very small animals or possibly flying, as low gravity will allow them to fly more easily. This could happen on a moon orbiting a gas giant planet, such as Candidate 1, an exoplanet that is suspected to be orbiting Alpha Centauri A. This planet would have a mass equivalent to that of Neptune. If the exoplanet Candidate 1 exists, it could have moons like Jupiter, and it only takes one of those moons to be habitable for life to emerge. If life were to arise in any exomoon of Candidate 1, the beings evolving there would need to develop massive and agile bodies. If it is a low-light planet such as the exoplanets of Proxima Centauri, perhaps the living beings that evolve there do not need to develop eyes and instead evolve with some adaptation, such as huge ears or natural antenna that allow them to communicate using extremely low sound frequencies, perhaps using ultrasound like bats. In any case, it isn't easy to imagine what these extraterrestrial beings will be like, but we can get an idea of the human race's response if we discover life in Alpha Centauri. Proven Life The first thing that would happen if the human race were to discover life in Alpha Centauri is that our expectation of life in the universe would change completely. We believe life can only arise in worlds that meet all Earth's conditions. But suppose we discover life on worlds as hostile and different as the exoplanets of Proxima Centauri. In that case, it means that life does not require all the goodness that our planet offers and can arise practically anywhere in the universe. This will also change our way of thinking because if we find life in Alpha Centauri, it would mean that the entire universe is whole of living beings and that life is not something strange or rare but something normal in the universe something that arises spontaneously out of nowhere and without anyone's intervention that doesn't require a creator or a special place. It would mean that life is the natural way in which inert matter eventually evolves and that it simply has no reason for being or meaning. It only happens because it can happen and they don't have any purpose. This would not be easy to assimilate for many people who incessantly search for the meaning of life or our purpose in the universe. However, finding life in Alpha Centauri would also mean that life is much stranger than we had imagined. It would be clear that once we discover that there is life in Alpha Centauri, 
we will first try to study it. In this case, three possible scenarios could be presented. 1. We found microbial life One of the most likely scenarios that could even occur in our solar system is that we find microbial life in Alpha Centauri. When we say microbial life, we mean bacteria, primary life forms, and simple organisms without complex structures that have no limbs, eyes, ears, or intelligence. Only simple organisms that manage to evolve from the organic compounds of the planet on which they are found, and that eventually, if conditions allow it after billions of years, could evolve into more complex forms of life like those that the Earth has. If we were to discover these types of organisms on one of the exoplanets of Alpha Centauri, we could take advantage of the ecosystem in which they have developed to test other similar forms of life. Here on Earth, some organisms can survive the most extreme conditions known, from the sulfur of volcanic calderas to the ice of Antarctica. These organisms are known as extremophiles. Extremophile organisms can survive the harshest conditions, spend years without a drop of water, or even withstand the most harmful radiation. They are beings that have evolved to be able to survive practically anywhere. If we discover microbial organisms in Alpha Centauri, we could carry living things from Earth to see if they can survive there too. Eventually, we could tap into that planet's resources. After all, if an organism could develop there, it would mean that others could too. One of the most likely actions is that we will try to terraform that world. If we have already living beings, you must have some resources available to humans, such as water or oxygen. If we take advantage of that planet's resources to create a colony, we could plant planets that take advantage of carbon dioxide and, little by little, fill the entire atmosphere with oxygen and thus prepare everything for when the first humans arrive. 2. We find complex life, but without advanced intelligence. The second possible scenario is finding a world with a much more complex life. This would be similar to what the Earth was like during the Mesozoic, a world teeming with life with gigantic animals that will have evolved to occupy all ecosystems, from forests to mountains, oceans, and even the skies. It would look just like how the Earth looked during the Mesozoic when dinosaurs occupied every corner of the planet, including the ocean. If we were to find such a world, we would only have to adapt and move to it. If the air is not breathable, we would only have to create habitats with oxygen. In this way, we could carry out all of our activities within the habitats without changing the air of the entire planet. But ruling that out, we could live in such a world. The only problem would be that humans don't try to overstamp their bounds by trying to shape this new world to our whim, just as we have done with the Earth. In a world with complex animals and advanced life forms, we must be cautious not to cause so much damage, as the slightest change in the ecosystem could mean the extinction of hundreds of species. Something as simple as cutting down too many trees or polluting the water with foreign substances could result in the death of many life forms in that world that would not be used to living with humans. It is possible that on Earth some rules of coexistence with the new forms of life on that planet will be established. So only people will be sent to ensure the protection and defense of that new world so that our actions don't become a problem. Something that will inevitably happen is that humans must exploit that planet's resources water, air, food, and land. We will do whatever it takes to feed an ever-growing population. It seems that the only way to prevent the actions of humans from being a problem for an entire planet of living beings is to establish a law like the one established in Antarctica. Hence, no nation in the world will be able to take advantage of or exploit the resources of that place or carry out military maneuvers that put that delicate ecosystem at risk. What do you think? Do you think the only way humans could coexist with living beings from another planet would be to establish a law that prohibits us from settling permanently in that place? Or is there a way in which humans could stay and live in that world without putting other species at risk? Let us know what you think in the comments. Before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can improve them for you, the viewer. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by making sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. 3. We find advanced beings, but without technology. In the third scenario, one of the least likely but possible, we find intelligent beings that have not yet developed telecommunications technology. 
This scenario can be divided into two other cases. The first is where the beings we find are very different from us, and the second is where the living beings we find are identical to humans. Intelligent beings very different from us. These could be beings that have developed great intelligence and also walk on two legs, but have developed from a different species than primates. They could come from other species such as felines, birds, etc. In this case, these extraterrestrial beings would have evolved by taking a path similar to humans. Still, we would have completely different brains. So, it would also be challenging to establish communications with them. The intelligent species would be analogous to humans on Earth, being a species that would dominate the others and cause the extinction of much of the fauna of that planet. Suppose one of the exoplanets of Alpha Centauri has such an extraterrestrial race, but without technology. In that case, it would mean that this species is at a stage where they are just beginning to explore their world, or perhaps they are just beginning to develop their science with their language in their form of communication. If humans find a species with these characteristics living on one of the habitable worlds of Alpha Centauri, we would have to think very carefully before establishing the first contact with them because any hasty contact could have a significant impact. Suppose humans arrive in spaceships with the typical astronaut suits. They communicate through radio sets. In the best cases, this species might think that we are gods because we come down from the sky in a ball of fire. Our skin is unlike anything they know, and it seems we communicate telepathically. If this species is very shy because of how they have evolved, they could react by running away from us, afraid of what those fantastic creatures that came down from the sky might do to them. They may also attack us, thinking we are invading them, so it will depend solely on us if that first contact ends well or poorly. Most likely, the relations between humans and this new species will be delicate. Neither of them can communicate. We will not know what they tell us, and they will not know what we say. Communication will take time, mainly if a species doesn't communicate through language like we do. For example, suppose they are a species that evolve from insects. In that case, their communication may be through pheromones that they would detect with their antenna, which would greatly complicate communications between the two sides. This could mean that for the first few years, astronauts living on this planet will be tasked with improving communications between this intelligent species and us as we establish the first bases on their world. Would it be possible to establish effective communications with an extraterrestrial race that evolved in a completely different way from us? Let us know in the comments. Intelligent beings very similar to us. The second case is a scenario in which we encounter an extraterrestrial race very similar to us or directly with a less advanced race of humans. This would completely change our way of thinking as we can't expect to find bipedal beings that, for an evolutionary advantage, develop walking on two legs like humans. But finding humans identical to us, it would be too much of a coincidence to be the product of convergent evolution. In biology, convergent evolution occurs when two similar structures have evolved independently from different ancestral structures and by very different developmental processes. The clearest example of this is the evolution of wings for flight. Throughout history, tetrasaurs, birds, and bats are animals that have developed the ability to fly. Still, in the three cases, it was by very different processes, which is noticeable in how the three species fly. In nature, it is typical for two unrelated species by necessity to end up developing similar characteristics through convergent evolution, but there are always some differences. If we were to find human beings or beings very similar to humans on an exoplanet in Alpha Centauri, we would have to ask ourselves important questions such as, how was it that in such a different and distant place, the conditions were presented for a species to evolve in precisely the same way as humans? Does it mean we'd have a relationship? Could it be that these beings who inhabit that world first arose on Earth and somehow ended up on a planet of another star? Or could it be that we are the ones who were born on that distant planet and, somehow unknown, ended up here on Earth? Those questions would not be easy to answer, but they would be some of the doubts if that scenario arose. Finally, a race of extraterrestrial humans who have developed on an exoplanet of Alpha Centauri would not have any language known to us. Still, at least they would communicate in the same way using a language, 
so that although communications would be complex at first, we would eventually communicate without problems. Finally, there is a scenario in which we could find an intelligent civilization with advanced technology, but that does not obey logic since an advanced civilization would necessarily have already developed telecommunications technologies, especially communication with radio waves, so we would have already detected them. Since we have not detected any sign of an intelligent race coming from Alpha Centauri, we can safely say that there is no intelligent race with advanced technology like ours in that star system. But we do not rule out that there could be any other form of life such as those mentioned in this video. In the end, the last answer is yours. What do you think? If there were life in Alpha Centauri, which of these scenarios would be the most likely? Let us know what you think in the comments.